What's up guys, Eternal here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Cassiopeia, so let's go with Doran's Ring. I'll be playing against Vladimir, you want to start with Q first and let's get her skill explanation. So on passive Cassiopeia gains movement speed per level and she's not able to purchase boots items. As for her Q, she blasts enemies in an area with poison, if a champion is hit, Cassiopeia gains 30 movement speed decaying over 3 seconds. And the poison itself deals magic damage over 3 seconds. As for her E, you deal magic damage to a target, if the target is killed by E, or is killed during its flight, SCP gains 40 mana. If the victim is poisoned when E hits, it takes additional magic damage and Cassiopeia heals for some amount of damage that scales with your ability power. And as for her W, Cassiopeia spews venom in an arc, leaving toxic clouds for 5 seconds. This is the range, the bigger circle shows you the range you slow by 40% and within that your enemies are not able to cast dashes or flash. So you just want to kill minions and usually do it on both minions and your enemy. Just try to predict your enemy movement. And I'd be able to get level 2 first which is nice cause her level 2 power spike is great. Just the last hitting part can be tricky if you are new to Cassio because she's not doing too much damage with her E. Let's see if I can follow that. Nice. So your E does more damage when you Q the target. I don't recommend casting E on your enemy alone because you just run out of mana. Of course you get bonus damage on your E with W, generally with any poison in the game. So help yourself with auto first before you E. And play aggressive if you manage to land a nice Q. Just as you can see, if you spam your abilities too much, you just run out of mana. But that's okay since if you are able to last hit properly with your E, you get the mana back. The mana refund is the same as the cost. So 40. That's a kill and nothing else. So you slow down a bit, as for the Q, wait till poison ticks and then E. See, that way it's not hard, you just need to get used to that. But it's very important on laning phase. And usually you want to cast W at the end of your combo, so that when you're expecting your enemy to flash, that way you can prevent your enemy from doing so and get a kill. And usually your perfect first bug should be at 1300 gold cap, because you can afford lost chapter. Very nice item grants you 300 mana for the ability power cooldown reduction add some mana as you level up. Cassio is very vulnerable to ganks, so you should keep vision or play safer. Vladimir has barriers, so I'm focused on farming more than harassing him. I only harass if I manage to land a Q, because else that would be just a waste of mana. So W is better for wave clearing, but in terms of single target damage, Q is better. And because you are not able to cast W closer than the second circle range, then you should be using Q on yourself if you are being focused heavily. So let's say you just got ulted by Rengar, so just do Q to get movement speed and start kiting. 
with your Q and D. Cassio scales so well into late game, she can deal so much damage and can carry the team fight alone, though she's very easy to kill. When playing Cassio, you can just expect to be heavily focused over the game. So positioning is important. And as for your ultimate, this is the range, so basically you deal magic damage. If your enemy is standing in front of you and you cast ult, then he will get a stun for 2 seconds. And if you fail to do so and your enemy is retreating, he will only deal magic damage. Also slowing your enemy by 40% for 2 seconds. And how do you want to land your ultimate properly to get a stun on lane? Well, usually you just wait till the moment when your enemy is going for last hit with his basic attack. So then he has to turn and then you press ultimate. So let's go for this and dark seed is good as well. Some additional mana. Mana pool is important. So she deals magic damage to all enemies in front of her. Enemies facing her turn to stone and are stunned for 2 seconds while enemies facing away are slowed by 40%. And as for your ultimate when playing against champions like Katarina with spinning animation of her ultimate, then the facing direction of champions whose abilities or animations cause them to spin is always the direction they are moving in. So in the event of abilities that cause the champion to spin on the spot, it will factor the direction they were facing on the cast. This means that if Katarina was heading in your direction before she casted her ult, she will still get stunned by your ultimate. Your E has interaction with poison of other champions. So for example, if Timor is doing his dart or Twitch applied his venom stacks, then you can just E and you get the bonus E damage just as if you used your Q on the target. So keep in mind, if you happen to play with champions with poison, then it's useful, so you don't have to waste time casting Q in a team fight, you just press E immediately and deal the damage. So this is pretty much farm lane. I went aggressive with Ignite, but generally because I'm not going for Morello, I thought that Ignite would be good against Vladimir healing later. I think I can play much more aggressive now, just don't get too close to the turret because the poison tick will trigger that and you want to avoid unnecessary damage. So if you really want to overextend and risk being ganked then at least do it carefully. Okay, so he's actually bot side. I just keep to that side so it will be harder for him to gank me. As for your ultimate, you can also surprise your enemy by casting ult and then flash. So you start animation, your enemy will think that you failed and surprise. You just got a free stun. Your ultimate can also stop an enemy mid dash, so for example Warwick's ultimate, but you need to be very fast, it's not that easy to time it. So if you just eat properly, as you can see, you have infinite sustain with your mana. But if I just kept spamming my abilities brainlessly, I would run out of mana. So if you get used to that, it's all fine. He copied my ult. So there was no point casting W because it would be outside the range, so one for one. Alright, so because Cassio is so easy to get ganked and killed, you just want to focus on farming so then if teamfight happens you have better chances of surviving and outplaying your enemy. Roaming on her is fine, but you know, she is slow. I 
actually I can try now. Though probably Gold Pink. Okay, he's going in. I had to impact actually. At least I got an assist for that. And the uh, wave was pushed. So I didn't lose much from that on mid. Oh, Silas is there. Of course, if you saw jungle nearby, you can expect that it's a bait. I just give him vision. No assist, no range. Damn. This is going to be an interesting game because Mortain is losing. Please no vision on river. Okay. They know. Mm. But I still think that I could get a kill. A. And well, it's not safe to go this side, but with an assist of my jungler, why not? They could do Drake, I just go to push mid lane. I kind of want to back, but I just don't have the right opportunity. So I can stay to just farm, so it's fine. Oh, really? Ah, he hot Sonya as well, okay. Well, at least I survived. I had no mana for E, so you know. And poison was out already. Sometimes you can go this item second, usually when you are fighting a lot more. So in farm lanes, and most of the times we lie. Also, when facing many tanks, this item is great. So, usually two E ticks and Q again. Okay, nice. Okay, Pantheon is going from this side. We won't fall for that. He's going for top. So, if he outplayed with double kill, I expect that he's low health. Actually Rift. I have blue buffs, so I can just spam it and the damage would be nice. Having blue buff on Cassio is so nice. Mm, let's 
Sí. Oh. Wasn't the best ult. But I was expecting Katie to engage. That's it. Has my ult. Let's go actually. Alright, let's back. They're not giving up though. Though I'm sure that it was tilting for them. Okay, yeah, I'm selling this to get this item. Ah, he had my ult still. And now he's mine. So one tick of your E if you have rely, since you cannot reach your opponent, just for the slow and then Q. And you can just zone your enemies with W, so you can get free objectives. And there is nothing they can do. <laughs> also, you can peel your allies with W. So, if there's something that can engage on your allies, you just press W. They are not able to do anything. Kind of pointless team fight. But still, why not? And then it depends. If you really want full CDR without blue buff, then you go Zonia or. Banshee, but usually you want to go void stuff next just to seal the damage you know you have these core items and you can see you hit hard with Casio and then you just get void stuff and it's even better but if things are not going too well then Banshee is good And I just did some stupid thing by going all into them. I should have flashed faster. Well, with the right team, it's not possible to shut down Cassio if you have the front line, so I shouldn't go in solo and wait for my teammates. Also, as you can see, I'm using Domination Secondary, so my healing late game is amazing. can set up for Baron soon. Oh no, blue buff. Oh, there he is. So 
I just keep W in case something happens. Think it's worth it. He has my ult, damn the range. It's a BT. This is the best ult he could have this game. If he has flashed, then it's even worse. That is fine. So it would be a clean game if not the fact that I died solo. But still fine. At least you can see that it's not worth going alone. the damage is great. They will be able to defend that actually. Yeah. So let's go for void stuff and dead cap. Free Drake. So if Vayne is pressuring bot we can just do Baron, they are not able to contest especially because they are being pushed by super minions. I have blue buff so... But since my teammates don't want to do that, I just go with the cow on the top lane. That's it, so thank you guys for watching, hope that you learned something out Cassiopeia, leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.